The next most important property is ethers reaction with hydrogen halide like hydrogen iodide. Ethers react with hydrogen iodide forming a mixture of alcohol and iodohalkane. So this is possible only when you take little amount or limited amount of hydrogen iodide. That means if you take limited amount of hydrogen iodide, you will get a mixture of alcohol and iodohalkane. Supposing if it is excess of HI taken, then you get only iodohalkane or alkyl iodide only. There is no question of formation of alcohols. My dear students, in this question, the most complicated part is if you have unsymmetric ethers. Supposing if you have unsymmetric ethers, then the production of product is different. Suppose on one side you have methyl group, on the other side of oxygen, if you have primary or secondary groups, alkyl groups, then on reaction with HI, you will get methyl iodide and alcohol. Supposing if it is methyl on one side and tertiary alkyl group on the other side, then upon treating with HI, you get tertiary alkyl iodide and methyl alcohol. This should be kept in mind. This is very, very important. You, if it is simple, simple ether or symmetric ether, no issue. If you take HI and react with ether, if it is simple ether, you get a mixture of both methyl al ethyl alcohol here and ethyl iodide in this case. Supposing, supposing on one side of ether linkage, on one side of ether linkage, if it is methyl group, on the other side if it is primary or secondary alkyl group, then the smaller chain alkyl group will be converted into haloalkane. Secondly, supposing if on one side you have methyl group, on the other side you have tertiary alkyl group, then the tertiary alkyl group converts into haloalkane. So this should be kept in mind. The question is, what about in case of aromatic ethers like anisole or methyl phenyl ether? So in case of aromatic ethers, there is no doubt on reaction with HI, you will get phenol, phenol and alkyl iodide. If you remember all this concept, you can really do well all the questions which comes from ethers. Next, we'll discuss about some model questions which comes under alcohols, phenols and ethers. So how the questions are going to arise and how to deal with these questions, what are the basic concepts to be applied, so we'll see from now. Vidyarthi Mitra Re, Ille Varugu Now Alcohols, Phenols, Matha Heather Na Synapsis Discuss Maadhi Divi. Important Points Na Nimge Yel Kooti Dini. Nivu Important, E Important Points Nala Nivu Dnaap Kare Eat Kondra. E Mooru Heading Salli, Alcohols, Phenols, Heather Salli. Yaudhe Prashnay Bandru Koda, Nivu Uttris Bodo. E Ga, E Mooru Concept Mele, Alcohols, Phenols, Heather Mele. Kelvo sample questions na, model questions na discuss maada na. Nima confidence kuda jasthi aakta ho gutta hai. Ega modal ne prashne. Dear students, let us see some important questions which are, which were appeared in previous years and some most common questions. The first question, general formula of primary alcohol is, general formula of primary alcohol is, and the primary alcohols na general formula A, A nirbodo anta. Option A, CHOH. Option B, COH, where carbon is attached to four different, three different alkyl group. Option C, CH2OH, where this is attached to one R group. And this is an alkene derivative. Obviously, now synapsis discuss maadi divi. Synapsis ali, now sariyagi discuss maadi divi. Ali gutagat nimge. Primary alcohols and alcohols in which the OH group is attached to a primary carbon. This is a primary carbon. Primary carbon and no, a carbon which in turn attached to only one carbon atom or only one other carbon atom is called primary carbon atom. Or CH2OH is a primary alcoholic group. CHOH is secondary. COH is a tertiary alcoholic group. Num question in there, general formula of primary alcohol is Agadre. Option C is the correct option.
Next, ethanol is prepared industrially by and the industrial methods are ethanol na egg prepare maartthi vayen thiyan. Modal option is hydration of ethene or ethylene. Eradne option is fermentation of sugars. Moorne option is hydrolysis of alkyl halides. Nalakne option is both A and B. Vidyati mitra re synapse sulpa recall maart koli. Nim gedi di nalli industrial method and re production of alcohol in large excess industrially done by hydration of alkenes catalyzed by protons or acids. Second one, fermentation of carbohydrates. If you do this, you will do So, option D is correct option, both A and B. Next question, which enzyme convert glucose and fructose, that is both glucose and fructose into ethanol? Yava enzyme, glucose and fructose, ethanol agi convert maadake, anukola maad kodutte. Which enzyme converts glucose and fructose into ethanol? Options are diastase, invertase, zymase and maltase. Nam gutti dhe, Molasses in the alcohol na manufacture maad vay kaadre. Yeradu enzyme use maad thi vi. One do invertase in one do zymase. The enzyme invertase hydrolyzes sucrose into glucose and fructose. Whereas the enzyme zymase oxidizes or converts glucose and fructose into alcohol. Anga agi illi kutra nalakko option illi the enzyme which is responsible for Conversion of glucose and fructose into alcohol is zymase. Both zymase and invertase are produced by yeast. Both zymase and invertase are produced by the yeast. Diastase is an enzyme which is used to hydrolyze the starch. Alcohols also manufactured from starch. That's why alcohol is also called as grain alcohol. So, this diastase enzyme generally we extract from germinated barley. Germinated barley. So, germinated barley in the diastase enzyme extract. Invertase zymase erudukuda extracted from yeast or produced from yeast cells. So, this is the question. Question ge, a e prashne ge uttara, sariyad uttara, zymase. So, zymase is an enzyme which is responsible for conversion of glucose and fructose into ethanol. Dear students, let us see the next question. The ionization constant of phenol is higher than that of ethanol because there are four options given here. Phenoxide ion is stronger than ethoxide ion. Phenoxide ion is stronger base than ethoxide ion. Second option, phenoxide ion is stabilized through delocalization. Third option, phenoxide ion is less stable than ethoxide ion. Option D, Phenoxide ion is bulkier than ethoxide ion. Dear students, now synopsis discuss maad bhe kaadra hai, discuss maad hi Alcohols are less acidic when compared to phenols. Phenols na dissociation constant to Ka is equal to 10 power minus 10. Whereas alcohols do 10 power minus 16 hard li Angagi, nim gotti de higher the Ka value, stronger is the acidic character. Higher the Ka value, stronger is the acidic character. So, since the Ka value of phenol is greater than that of alcohols, phenols must be strongly acidic when compared to alcohol. Ega namge doubt er adhiyan ondre why phenols are more acidic when compared to alcohols. Phenols undergo dissociation, phenol undergo ionization forming phenoxide ion and H plus ion, forming phenoxide ion and H plus ion. 
So, phenoxyl ions so formed undergo resonance stabilization. Undergo resonance stabilization due to delocalization of electron present on the oxy oxide or oxygen. And therefore, phenoxyl ion is more stable than phenol. When we compare the stability of phenoxide ion with alkoxide ion formed upon ionization of alcohol, definitely phenoxide ion or phenate ion is more stable due to resonance stabilization. Therefore, phenols are strongly acidic when compared to alcohols.